Hi guys, in this episode of Ray Decay, I'm gonna be finishing off my reaction to Dreamcatcher's Summer Holiday album. So far, we've gotten one good song and one really, really good song that I really, really like, that being the song Whistle. And in this uh, second and final part of the reaction, I'm gonna be checking out the last two songs, All Day Long and A Heart of Sunflower. But just like how I explained in the first part uh, of this album reaction, I don't really expect these two songs to be as enjoyable as Whistle. Not because I think that uh, Dreamcatcher B-sides are bad or anything, I just feel like with what the names of the songs are and the general mainstreamness of this album and just more soft nature to the songs, I just don't expect these two songs to go in the same direction that Whistle went because I really like Whistle. It's exactly what I want to hear from Dreamcatcher B-sides. It's dark, it's soulful and it's emotional and I like it. That's what I want to listen to and it has a unique sound. But I think that these two songs, All Day Long and A Heart of Sunflower, are probably gonna be soft, kind of ballad-ish uh, kind of songs. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong, who knows? So without further ado, let's get into the first one of these songs, All Day Long, in 3, 2, 1. And I feel like I've already been proven right. many times it's not that a ballad makes a song bad for me it's just that I don't really enjoy those kind of songs as much as I enjoy just more hyperactive kind of songs like whistle still enjoying it because it's Dreamcatcher but you're never gonna catch me replaying this song uh, uh, as compared to Whistle which I will be replaying literally once and then with the reaction. But I'm glad that songs like this exist for the people that enjoy them. I already got my one additional song uh, of Dreamcatchers that I enjoy so I don't really care whether I like or don't like these two songs. Oh, 
I feel like you can even, even easily see it in my reaction how I feel about this song. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it. It's a beautiful song for what it is. I feel like people that are more into these kind of ballad-like songs are going to enjoy it just fine, but that is just not my thing. And I feel like I've started to say that thing too much in recent times, like, oh, this song is not my thing, but it's not that bad. And yeah, I think that it's not bad, and I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself like that, but yeah. I just don't think I'll ever be listening to this song ever again. It's not bad, but it's just not what I look for. And in terms of my rating, if I go for a more personal rating, it would probably be like an 8.2 out of 10. But in terms of what the song actually is, I think I'm gonna go with a 9 out of 10. I think it's a good song, it's just not what I want to hear from uh, Dreamcatcher at all. But still, we have one more song. Um, that again, I'm not expecting that it's gonna appeal to me as much as Whistle did, but we still have to check it out. That's kind of the purpose of these videos. It's as much for you to, uh, for me to entertain you with my reactions as it is for me to find more songs uh, that I would, other, would otherwise have not checked out. So yeah, uh, let's get into A Heart of Sunflower in 3, 2, 1. Okay, this one seems to be like even more proper ballad because I feel like All Day Long was a little bit like a retro, it had a retro vibe to it, but this is like a straight up ballad. And like for the girls as vocalists and like a group, I, I like that they have the ability to experiment with their sound and not just stick to the dark and edgy stuff because I'm sure that they want to do more different styles like this. But as a, as a fan, as a person who just wants to enjoy the music, I really don't care for these songs. Out of this album, excluding the title track, only Whistle appealed to me. If I've ever heard uh, Dreamcatcher do like a proper ballad, but I honestly kind of like it. Like if I ever feel like I want to listen to a ballad, it's definitely gonna be uh, on my radar, you know? I like that build up to the chorus. Ooh. I like that guitar in the background. I wish they included it more in the song. Because that definitely would make the song better for me. I think the reason why I don't enjoy ballads as much is just because they no do not overwhelm my senses the way more heart hitting and energetic songs uh, like Whistle do. Because they feel a little bit too simple and boring. But when you include more stuff that I have to focus on, like a really cool instrumental, like right now, it's already so much more entertaining, you know?
Okay, so honestly, I kind of enjoyed this one. I still don't think I'll really ever listen to it again, because it's very rarely that I am in a circumstance where I want to listen to a ballad. That's why the songs that I listen to the most tend to be the more uh, replayable kind of songs, like Whistle, or in the case of the title tracks from Dreamcatcher, All Die, or Because. Those songs just have more replayability to them. And because they're more energetic and hyperactive, there's much more circumstances where I feel like listening to those kind of songs. Well, in comparison, ballads are only good for me whenever I am depressed. Which, thankfully, doesn't happen as much nowadays since I started my YouTube channel. But, yeah, I just don't really get time to listen to these kind of songs. And it just doesn't feel entertaining to listen to these kind of songs. But at least in the reaction, I really genuinely enjoyed it. It was... Uh, definitely more entertaining in the second half once we actually could hear like the guitar uh, rock-ish instrumental like I really like that I wish uh, more of that was employed in the song it definitely would have entertained me more but honestly I like it I like it uh, right now this is definitely the second best song of the b-sides for me uh, then it would be probably all day long and airplane as the last one but honestly airplane and all day long I kind of don't like them for uh, at about the same rate. So yeah, um, in terms of rating for this one, I mean, I gave all the songs so far like 9s out of 10, and I feel like this one will get a 9.3 out of 10. I feel like it could have been maybe like a 9.6 if it actually did the instrumental how I wanted it to, like more inclusion of like a guitar in it. I feel like that would have been better for the song, and it could have... Uh, made it go as far as like a 9.6 or even a 10 out of 10 but it didn't so we're gonna go with a 9.3 so yeah pretty good uh album overall uh if you're not a picky person like me but for me i'm personally glad that i got at least one song that's what i was looking for from this album at least one good song to add to my dreamcatcher playlist and that is whistle but I'm curious what do you guys think about the songs of this album. Which ones are your favorite? Uh, which ones you will want, have you uh, replayed constantly since the release of the album? Comment all of that down below. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three pagers on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, and Shenchez. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me uh, going forward. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I... I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents they're never going to accept me as a trans person they, they just never will and as a matter of fact back when I started the YouTube channel I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot, I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just 
started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me uh, and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah I don't know I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise and this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with it would mean literally everything like for example uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel my good friend Yuri has been helping me out a lot and I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the description to my Twitter if you don't follow me over there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer, and if you want to enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account, where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, because you can help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!